Here in the shop, we have the Laguna P Flux E. It's a three horsepower HEPA filtered system. Super, super. Not only is it a great machine, it is really pretty darn badass looking, right? Holly and I went and we put this together. We, you know what? Let's show you what happened. Tools required, a 10 millimeter wrench, 12 millimeter wrench, 14 millimeter wrench. Phillips. For the record, this is why Holly's here, because she's actually reading the directions, because if it was just me. <laughs> you would just wing it. <laughs> yeah, we would just be, we would just totally be winging this. They tell us it's five or six hours to put it together. Challenge accepted. One, turn the unit upside down. You're kidding me, right? There better be a good reason for this. Oh, this is so we put the wheels on it. Okay, so this four four inch wheels, the other side of the base. 16, 5 and 16 by 3 quarter inch hex bolts. Wheels. It was written with me in mind, do not tighten bolts. Do not tighten. That's what it says. I'm assuming that goes the upper and lower rim. That's why I'm not good at It kind of looks like there, right? Next to the uh, lip. Yeah. Okay, Laguna one, Scott Holly zero. We were looking at page step one after we turned it upside down. Where we removed the base, it's fastened. We looked at it, it looks welded and didn't notice because, well, quite frankly, everything's powder coated black. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a really good looking machine, but there's bolts underneath there and we missed those. So it wasn't until we spent the past 30 minutes of the five to six hours it says it's gonna actually have us put this together that we noticed this differential problem here and we're both really over caffeinated and realized that that just doesn't look right. So we're gonna go back to page 14, which is really step one, and take the base off. Remove the base, which has been fastened to the top three upright. What? I'm not trying to be funny, but the wheels, they're... It's welded. This is why it's five to six hours, because mm -hmm. we'll stare at it for four hours and 30 minutes, and then we'll put it together. Hey, it's starting to look like page one. Okay, I'm done playing. Okay. So we need bolts. We need bolts.
All right, the instructions are supposed to put this tube thingy inside. So, um, Holly's been cussing because we don't understand why this wasn't done before you put it together. So, if you're following this video and you bought this, quite frankly, amazingly badass dust collector, put the suction tube on before you affix the cyclone or you look like this. You know what, this seems unnecessarily heavy after one. <laughs> this just seems like an awkward way to do yeah. things. There, there's nothing about this that's... It's kind of like the New York Times being written at the third grade reading level. It's kind of how this is feeling right about now. Oh, oh hey, look, the door's open. That'll make it e Let's... I got the doors open this time nice. to make it easier. I guess we just lay it down and then... Oh, yeah, no. It's okay. Yeah, I'm just using my weight. Okay. Look at that. Ready? You want to set it back down? Yeah. Okay. I lost my grip. This is a three person job. Hey, um, we, uh, we tried to flip this thing back over and almost pooped ourselves. Do you and one of your kids want to come help us stand this thing up? Okay. Okay. It was super cool of our landlord, Gary, to come over and give us a hand flipping this thing up. There's no way we would have got it done by ourselves. So we hope you come back and see what happens on part number two of this journey. In the meantime, make sure you're getting your shop and you're building beautiful things, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.